Classical compounds and neoclassical compounds are compound words composed from combining forms which act as affixes or stems derived from classical Latin or ancient Greek roots. New Latin comprises many such words and is a substantial component of the technical and scientific lexicon of English and other languages, including international scientific vocabulary. For example, bio combines with graphy to form biography, life, plus writing, recording. Topic: <laughs> Source of international technical vocabulary. Classical compounds represent a significant source of Neo-Latin vocabulary. Moreover, since these words are composed from classical languages whose prestige is always respected throughout the Western European culture, these words typically appear in many different languages. Their widespread use makes technical writing generally accessible to readers who may only have a smattering of the language in which it appears. Not all Western European languages have been equally receptive to classical technical compounds. German and Russian, for instance, have historically attempted to create their own technical vocabularies from native elements. Usually, these creations are German and Russian calques on the international vocabulary, such as Wasserstoff and Vodorod for hydrogen. Like any exercise in language prescription, this endeavor has been only partially successful, so while official German may still speak of a Fernsprecher, public telephones will be labeled with the internationally recognized telephone. <laughs> Formation, spelling, and pronunciation These words are compounds formed from Latin and Ancient Greek root words. Ancient Greek words are almost invariably Romanized see transliteration of Ancient Greek into English. In English, Ancient Greek I becomes E or sometimes Air, e, Air e in British English Ancient Greek groups with gamma plus a velar stop consonant such as ing, nk or nx become ing, nc or nk in more recent borrowings and nx respectively. Ancient Greek a often becomes i, occasionally it is retained as a. Ancient Greek theta becomes th. Ancient Greek kappa becomes c, subject to palatalization in English pronunciation or k. Ancient Greek oi becomes e or sometimes oe, oe in British English. Ancient Greek o usually becomes u, or occasionally o. Ancient Greek rh rho with spiritus asper becomes rh. Ancient Greek upsilon becomes y. Ancient Greek phi becomes ph or, very rarely, f. Ancient Greek chi becomes ch. Ancient Greek psi becomes ps Ancient Greek omega becomes o Ancient Greek rough breathing becomes h, thus, for example, Ancient Greek sphinx becomes English and Latin sphinx. Exceptions to these romanizing rules occur, such as leukemia, leukemia compare leukocyte, also leukocyte. In Latin, and in the target languages, the Greek vowels are given their classical values rather than their contemporary values in Demotic Greek. Ancient Greek words often contain consonant clusters which are foreign to the phonology of contemporary English and other languages that incorporate these words into their lexicon, diphthong, pneumatology, thysis. The traditional response in English is to treat the unfamiliar cluster as containing one or more silent letters and suppress their pronunciation. More modern speakers tend to try and pronounce the unusual cluster. 
This adds to the irregularities of English spelling, moreover, since many of these words are encountered in writing more often than they are heard spoken, it introduces uncertainty as to how to pronounce them when encountered. Classical compounds frequently vary the stressed syllable when suffixes are added, agriculture, agricultural. This also gives rise to uncertainty when these words are encountered in print. Once a classical compound has been created and borrowed, it typically becomes the foundation of a whole series of related words, e.g. astrology, astrological, astrologer, astrologist, astrologian, astrologism. Mainstream medical New Latin and ISV pronunciation in English is not the same as classical Latin pronunciation. Like ecclesiastical Latin, it has a regularity of its own, and individual sounds can be mapped or compared. Although the classical Latin pronunciation of ven i cave would be approximately, the standard English medical pronunciation is. History and reception English began incorporating many of these words in the 16th century. Geography first appeared in an English text in 1535. Other early adopted words that still survive include mystagogue, from the 1540s, and androgen, from the 1550s. The use of these technical terms predates the scientific method. The several varieties of divination all take their names from classical compounds, such as alectriomancy, divination by the pecking of chickens. Not all English writers have been friendly to the inflow of classical vocabulary. The Tudor period writer Sir John Cheke wrote, I am of this opinion that our own tongue should be written clean and pure, unmixed and unmanjeled with borrowing of other tonges, wherein if we take not heed by tiim, ever borrowing and never paying, she shall be fain to keep her house as bankrupt and therefore rejected what he called, "...inkhorn terms". Similar sentiments moved the 19th-century author William Barnes to write, "...pure English", in which he avoided Greco-Latin words and find Anglo-Saxon equivalents therefore, for Barnes, the newly invented art of the photograph became a sun print. Unlike this one, some of Barnes's coinages caught on, such as foreword, Barnes's replacement for the preface of a book. Later, Paul Anderson wrote a jocular piece called Uncleftish Beholding in a constructed language based on English which others have called, Ander Saxon. This attempted to create a pure English vocabulary for nuclear physics. For more information, see Linguistic Purism in English. <laughs> more recent developments Many such words, such as thermometer, dinosaur, rhinoceros, and rhododendron, are thoroughly incorporated into the English lexicon and are the ordinary words for their reference. Some are prone to colloquial shortening, rhinoceros often becomes rhino. The binomial nomenclature of taxonomy and biology is a major source for these items of vocabulary. For many unfamiliar species that lack a common English name, the name of the genus becomes the English word for that life form. In the metric system, prefixes that indicate multipliers are typically Greek in origin, such as kilogram, while those that indicate divisors are Latin, as in millimeter. The base roots resemble Greek words, but in truth are neologisms. These metric and other suffixes are added to native English roots as well, resulting in creations such as gigabyte. Words of mixed Latin and Greek lineage, or words that combine elements of the classical languages with English, so-called hybrid words, were formally castigated as «barbarisms» by prescriptionist usage commentators, this disapproval has mostly abated. 
Indeed, in scientific nomenclature, even more exotic hybrids have appeared, such as for example the dinosaur Yangchuanosaurus. Personal names appear in some scientific names such as fuchsia. Classical compounds are sometimes used to lend grandeur or the impression of scientific rigor to humble pursuits. The study of cosmetology will not help anyone become an astronaut. Compounds along these models are also sometimes coined for humorous effect, such as odontopodology, the science of putting your foot into your mouth. These humorous coinages sometimes take on a life of their own, such as garbology, the study of garbage. Some classical compounds form classical plurals, and are therefore irregular in English. Others do not, while some vacillate between classical and regular plurals. Translation. There are hundreds of classical compounds in English and other European languages. As traditionally defined, they cannot stand alone as free words, but there are many exceptions to this rule, and in the late 20th century such forms are increasingly used independently, bio as a clipping of biography, tele as a respelt clipping of television. Most classical compounds translate readily into everyday language, especially nouns, bio as life, graphy as writing, description. Because of this, the compounds of which they are part, usually classical or learned compounds, can be more or less straightforwardly paraphrased. Biography as writing about a life, neurology as the study of the nervous system. Many classical compounds are designed to take initial or final position. Autobiography has the two initial or preposed forms auto, bio, and one postposed form graphy. Although most occupy one position or the other, some can occupy both graph as in graphology and monograph, phil as in philology and anglophile. Occasionally, the same base is repeated in one word, logology the study of words, phobophobia the fear of fear. Preposed and postposed Prefixes include, aero air, crypto hidden, demo people, geo earth, odonto tooth, ornitho bird, thalasso sea. Many have both a traditional simple meaning and a modern telescopic meaning. In biology, bio means life, but in biodegradable it telescopes biologically, although hypno basically means sleep. Hypnopedia learning through sleep, it also stands for hypnosis, hypnotherapy cure through hypnosis. When a form stands alone as a present-day word, it is usually a telescopic abbreviation, bio-biography, chemo-chemotherapy, hydro-hydroelectricity, metro-metropolitan. Some telescoped forms can be shorter than the original classical compounds. Gyne is shorter than gynaco and stands for both gynecology and gynecologist. Anthro is shorter than anthropo and stands for anthropology. Suffixes include, ectomy cutting out, graphy writing, description, kinesis motion, logi study, mansi divination, onum name, phagi eating, phony sound, therapy healing, tomi cutting. They are generally listed in dictionaries without the interfixed vowel, which appears however in such casual phrases as ologies and isms. Topic. Variants Some classical compounds are variants of one base. Some are also free words, such as mania in dipsomania and phobia in claustrophobia. Some are composites of other elements, such as encephalo brain, from enin, cephal head, and ectomy cutting out, from ec out, tom cut, y, a noun forming suffix that means, process of. <laughs> 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 
Topic Formation. In Greek and Latin grammar, combining bases usually require a thematic or stem-forming vowel. In biography, from Greek, the thematic is o, in agriculture, from Latin, it is i. In English morphology, this vowel can be considered as an interfix, o, in miniskirt, the interfix i. It is usually regarded as attached to the initial base bio, mini, rather than the final base graphy, skirt, but in forms where it is conventionally stressed, it is sometimes considered as part of the final base ography, ology. If the final element begins with a vowel for example, archi as in monarchy, the mediating vowel has traditionally been avoided not asterisk monoarchy, but in recent coinages it is often kept, sometimes accompanied by a hyphen auto -analysis, bioenergy, hydroelectricity, not asterisk autoanalysis, asterisk bienergy, asterisk hydroelectricity. Its presence helps to distinguish classical compounds like biography and agriculture from vernacular compounds like teapot and blackbird. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Origin. Generally, English has acquired its classical compounds in three ways: through French from Latin and Greek, directly from Latin and Greek, and by coinage in English on Greek and Latin patterns. An exception is schizophrenia, which came into English through German, and is therefore pronounced schizo, not schizo. The conservative tradition From the Renaissance until the mid-20th century, the concept of derivational purity has generally regulated the use of classical compounds, Greek with Greek, Latin with Latin, and a minimum of hybridization. Biography is Greek, agriculture Latin, but television is a hybrid of Greek tele and Latin vision, probably so coined because the pure form telescope had already been adopted for another purpose. Most dictionaries follow the Oxford English Dictionary in using combining form, comb, form to label such classical elements, but the name is not widely known. In appendices to dictionaries and grammar books, classical compounds are often loosely referred to as roots or affixes. A logo, properly speaking, is not a word at all but a prefix meaning word and short for logogram, a symbol, much as tele is short for television. Montreal Gazette, the 13th of April 1981. They are often referred to as affixes because some come first and some come last, but if they were affixes, a word like biography would have no base whatever. While affixes are grammatical like prepositions, classical compounds are lexical like nouns, adjectives, and verbs, for example, bio translates as a noun life, graphy as a verbal noun writing. They are also often loosely called roots because they are ancient and have a basic role in word formation, but functionally and often structurally they are distinct from roots. The graph in autograph is both a root and a classical compound, while the graphy in cryptography consists of root graph and suffix y, and is only a classical compound. Contemporary developments Generally, classical compounds were a closed system from the 16th century to the earlier 20th century. The people who used them were classically educated, their teachers and exemplars generally took a purist's view on their use, contexts of use were mainly technical, and there was relatively little seepage into the language at large. However, with the decline of classical education and the spread of technical and quasi-technical jargon in the media, a continuum has evolved, with at least five stages. <laughs> <laughs> Topic. 
Pure classical usage In the older sciences, classical compounds are generally used to form such strictly classical and usually Greek compounds as anthocyanin, astrobleme, chemotherapy, chronobiology, cytokinesis, glossolalia, lalophobia, narcolepsy, osteoporosis, pliohippus, sympathomimetic. Hybrid classical usage In technical, semi-technical, and quasi-technical usage at large, coiners of compounds increasingly treat Latin and Greek as one resource to produce such forms as accelerometer, aerogenerator, bioprospector, communicology, electroconductive, futurology, mammography, microgravity, neoliberal, scientology, servomechanism. Hybrid classical, vernacular usage In the later 20th century, many forms have cut loose from ancient moorings, crypto as in pre-post crypto-fascist and pseudo as in pseudoradical, post-post meter in speedometer, clapometer. Processes of analogy have created coinages like petrodollar, psycho-warfare, microwave on such models as petrochemical, psychology, microscope. Such stunt usages as eco-doom, eco-fears, eco-freaks, common in journalism, often employ classical compounds telescopically, eco standing for ecology and ecological and not as used in economics. In such matters, precision of meaning is secondary to compactness and vividness of expression. Topic: <laughs> Combining forms as separate words. In recent years, the orthography of many word forms has changed, usually without affecting pronunciation and stress. The same spoken usage may be written micro-missile, 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 reflecting the same uncertainty or flexibility as in businessman, businessman, businessman. When used in such ways, classical compounds are often telescopic, hydro substation hydroelectricity board substation, metro highways metropolitan highways, porno cult pornography cult. New classical compounds The mix of late 20C techno commercial coinages includes three groups of post and non classical forms 1. Established forms, econo from economic, as in econometric, econo car, mini from miniature, as in miniskirt, mini boom, matic from automatic, as in adjustomatic, instamatic, stachomatic. 2. Less established forms, often created by blending, acu from accurate, as in AccuVision, Compu from computer, as in CompuCorp, Docu from documentary, as in docudrama, Perma from permanent, as in permafrost and permabarn, Dura from durable, as in Duramark. 3. Informal vernacular material in pseudo classical form, Easabird, Healthatone, Ready Pack, Relax A Scissor, Relax, Exerciser. Topic: Bonational forms. Word forms exist for describing relations or interactions between two nations or societies, such as Anglo-French, England and France, Franco-Italian, France and Italy, Greco-Turkish, Greece and Turkey, Russo-Japanese, Russia and Japan, Sino-Cambodian, China and Cambodian, Americo-Liberian, the United States and the African nation of Liberia. In theory, at least, word forms exist to describe every conceivable pairing, although some Peruvo-Ugandan. 
Papuo-Icelandic, may tend more to the fabulous than the actually useful forms. Note that it could be argued that Franco-English, Italo-French, Turco-Grecian, and so forth are equally valid ways of describing the relationship or interactions. The term Afro-American was formerly used to describe a black American, but now it is deemed more politically correct not to use the Afro-combining form and instead, the term African-American is used. Similar systems In East Asia, a similar role to Latin and Greek has been played by Chinese, with non-Chinese languages both borrowing a significant number of words from Chinese and using morphemes borrowed from Chinese to coin new words, particularly in formal or technical language. See Sino-Japanese vocabulary, Sino-Korean vocabulary, and Sino-Vietnamese vocabulary for discussion. The coinage of new native terms on Chinese roots is most notable in Japanese, where it is referred to as Weisei Kango, Heiji Hanyu Japanese made Chinese words. Many of these have been subsequently borrowed into Chinese, Korean, and Vietnamese, with the same or corresponding characters being pronounced differently according to language, just as happens in European languages. Compare English biology and French biology. For example, Zidongche Japanese Jidosha, Korean Jidongche is a Japanese coined word meaning automobile, literally self-move car, compared to auto self plus mobile moving. Topic: See also Topics English words of Greek origin Hybrid word Interlingua International scientific vocabulary Internationalism linguistics Ism Latin influence in English Ology Sino-Zenic vocabularies, for similar constructs in Korean, Japanese, Vietnamese, etc. Lists list of Germanic and Latinate equivalents in English List of Greek and Latin roots in English List of Latin and Greek words commonly used in systematic names List of Latin words with English derivatives Bibliography <inaudible> 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 MacArthur, Tom ed., The Oxford Companion to the English Language, Oxford University Press, 1992. ISBN 0-19214183-X Plagg, Ingo. Word Formation in English. Cambridge University Press, 2003, ISBN 0521525632, 9780 Topic: External links Concise Oxford Companion to the English Language 1998 Entries on Classical Compound and Combining Form